Good morning. First, I want to appreciate uh, the director, Mary, and also the fraternity of uh, Midao. And I'm so grateful that I'm here also today. Hope you can hear me. Yeah, last time I was here, I never thought I would come today also. But God is a God of purposes. Amen. Amen. I believe God wanted me to be here. Last time I was here, I know, I've said I'm Pastor Charles from Pipeline, Barnabas. I pastor a church called Global Victors Chapel as the lead pastor. I started to serve God while young, and God is good, amen? amen. So those who were here last time, we talked on what? You were here, my sister. Wow, let's appreciate our sister. We said, why many people believe that Jesus is the Son of God, isn't it? And I gave some few reasons. Today, because of time, I want us to talk on something that I've heard us talking, believing in the love of God. Yeah, that's that the topic, believing in the love of God. Amen. You see, love works. I am a teacher of the word. I basically and mostly teach. And you see... Love works by believing in it. Love will never work until you believe in it. And we have different types of love. Amen? Amen. Yeah, not the one we say errors and whatever and whatever. I'm, sp I'm speaking about the love of God. We have the love, the animalistic life. Love or the love of animals. Amen? Tulikuwa na umbo kitambo na tulikuwa tunaita chui. Na siku moja kukanyesha sana kwetu. Inje, mali, dogi, likuwa imezawa toto. So bila kutuomba ruhusa, nikuwa naona chui na shika mtoto ikirete kwa nyumba. Hai kuomba ruhusa. Hai kuuliza baba yangu wama ireto watoto kwa nyumba. Likuwa na shika the papi, hapa. Inaingisha kwa nyumba bila kuomba ruhusa. Then I realize, animals have love. Amen? Yes. Ukiangalia simba wakicheza na watoto wake, unaza, uwezi semba simba ina nimbaya. Acheza, inafurai, lakini hiyo simba ikiingia mustuni, kila mtu walia mustuni na kasirika. Sababu itaacha watu wengine wakiwa wajane, wengine mayatima, wengine... Eh? But you see, animals have love. I'm not talking about the love of animals. We also have in the Bible the love of women. Amen, men. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Actually, to, to love women is, is normal. It will be very much abnormal when you don't love women as a man. Now, Bible says, David said that my love for you, Jonathan, is beyond the love of women, which means their love for we. But the difference between an animal and a human being is the understanding. Yes, amen? amen. Yes, you should, not love, you should not follow every woman you like. Do you know the reason as to why women are attracted to men? It is because it is God who designed that. Alikuwa naangalia kwa Adam, Kenya Adam anaitaji, anaweka kwa, kwa mdada. Actually, hata wakati Adam aliamuka, hakuna mtu alimpea jina, ni ye aliangaleza, ah, this is part of my life, this is bone of mine. No, you know, he didn't say this is flesh of my flesh. He started with bones. And this is where we do error. Yeah, I have some ribs. When you have ribs, this is where we are even as men. Wakari na tafuta mtu akuwa usianze nyama. Unaanza mifu. Una una mtu na anza kenyi aoni. Are we together? Like characters, like all those things that you can't see. Because the first thing Adam said, he said, "This is bone of my bone, and flesh of my." So he started from the unseen, but we will do the opposite. Amen? <laughs> but I want to ask this. Adam alijuaje uyu ni bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. That's a good question to ask. Alijuaje? That's where now the mind enters. And that's where we have psycho-spiritual. Amen? It says Adam was asleep, isn't it? But the, the sleep there in Hebrew is no sleeping, it's trance. Trance. Which means 
Adam's senses, physical senses were like suspended. So it shows that wakati Adam alikuwa melala. Alikuwa nao naive. Sindio? Alijuaje ametolewa? Alijuaje ni nyama yake? Na ni kweli silikuwa nyama yake? Si alikuwa ametolewa ndani yake? Are we together? So it means aqua melala, you see you see or you get what you see with your mind. You see your mind is very powerful. Right now you are here. Kama hauoni ukipata job. Enda tu home. Because even God himself God works in our lives sometimes and basically according to how you think. Amen. Yes. If you see yourself I'm jobless forever. That's how it will be. Because God has given you something we call will and will is part of your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's what the Bible says he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we ask or imagine. Zingine zema think or zingine zema or imagine the power that works in you. So imagining and imagination is the power that is working in you. And God's power working in your life is determined also by how you imagine and how you think. Whatever you imagine or think, you start to call in the spirit world. So it's very, that's why God had promised Israelites, I'm taking you to Egypt. But they didn't enter. Not that God was not powerful, but they limited him by their thinking and their imaginations. Praise the name of the Lord. So what are we speaking about? We are speaking about Adam, the love of women. We are not talking about that. We have the love of women. You need to to no wezi penda kila mtu na unamfuata. You have to think. Nimempenda ni sawa. It's it's no more but I have mind. Who see bibi yangu? Are we together? Eh unajua kuna wanaume wanafuata kila mtu. That's to be an animal. The difference between a man and an animal is understanding. Bible says when when this guy this called Nebuchadnezzar alipoangalia alikuwa msituni kama mnyama alipoangalia binguni understanding yake ikamrudia alipo katoka kwa kichaka so the difference between an animal and a man is the understanding the ability to think the ability, the ability to know mi nimeoa mi nimeolewa ule si bibi yangu hata kama anapendeza that's what the bible says whoever commits adultery is without understanding he does not have understanding are we together yes he does not have understanding so the other love is the love of what the love of animal the love of what else women are we together then we have the love of love birds watu kuana na kupendana are we together yeah and mtu um, huolewa because you believe in the love of that guy i'm married because i tried to kuongelesha my wife mzuri nikampeleka mahali tukaongea vizuri nikamuonesha venye mimi mtu mzuri venye mimi niko responsible venye destiny yake atatimiza na mimi venye mimi si mtu mbaya hivyo pole 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 akaamini maneno ya now she is married to me because she believed in my love so the love worked because she believed in that love are we together yes. every love works when you believe in it praise the name of the lord Amen. and you see i once had a story i don't know whether it is true wezi waliingia kwa nyumba wakava venye wezi unakuja usiku walipoingia mzee wa nyumba fortunately fridge haikuwa na kitu na ni kubwa na inaonekana huyo mzee alikuwa mzee wa, wa job alikuwa na fridge kubwa so mzee akapotea kaingia ndani ya fridge so akiwa ndani ya fridge alikuwa nasikia watoto na bibi wakiwa tormented na wakora akiwa ndani ya fridge mzuri haikuwa imeplagiwa i together so after ama jamaa walitoka wakaenda ah mzee akachomoka ndani nasa mama akaanza ah ulikuwa wapi baba baba jo ah mimi nilikuwa na intercept nilikuwa na intercedia nikiwa ndani ya fridge nilikuwa na waombea nilikuwa na nakemea mapepo nikiwa ndani ya fridge would you like to be married by such kind of a person <laughs> Eh? But uh, ni utoke uwapige na kila kitu iko huko hata kama ni uju ulikuwa umepika. 
upige na uji upige wa pige na uji wa pige na makao wa pige na branketi wa pige na kila kitu are we together you know u jamaa ananipenda are we together but we are talking about the love of god after the breakup of and this guy called satan and god you see every breakup sijaisikia mtu ame break up na mtu akamuongelea vizuri yeah sijaisikia hata u jamaa anakuraka sana hata u jamaa unajua hajatairi Yeah that's what you hear Because every breakup in a produce bitterness na in a produce uh, chuki Yeah that's what hata wewe jamaa mliko mnaona watu kicheka na yeye na actually ni mimi nilikuwa nilalipa nyumba lakini wakati watu walikuwa pamoja mtu asikia hizo story So every breakup inakuwa mbaya So when Satan broke up with God Listen carefully my friend you this is the part that you need to get Satan began a campaign of tarnishing the name of God as not a good God as not a faithful God as not a straightforward guy That's what you try to tell people at your jamaa ni fiance wako huyo jamaa sasa ume break na yeye me break utaambia utajaribu kuambia huyo jamaa anakuaga huyo jamaa ataoga meno huyo you know you try to malign to tarnish the name of the one that you have broken up from so satan began a campaign of tarnishing the name of god because he was unable to fight god and overcome god so he came to fight god indirect by tarnishing the integrity and the character of god praise the name of the lord and that's why you see the first thing he did when he came to man he said ah muliambum sikule mti unajua kama ni mtu mzuri akakuja waambia yani adam muliambum kule miti yote ni moja tu mungu ni mzuri sana see you statement ni mzuri you see when, when satan comes basically when you want to know is satan he always show you what you don't have hauna kazi mungu ameniachilia hata hakuna jamaa na ni propose acha kuambia uko na uhai hata kama huko na fair miguu yako ilitembea mpaka hapa ni sawa kama fanya tumia mbona director uko sound mind uko na hope uko uhai so when satan comes he majorly and mainly shows you what you don't have but when god comes to he will show you what he has given to you that's why when he came to uh, moses alimwambia nini nimekupatia nini uko nayo when the lady who had uh, she had debts Aliulizo ni nini uko nayo nyumbani? Are we together? So when Adam when this guy came when Satan came msema ah, kwani huyu Mungu amewakataza mkule huyu mti. Hmm? Sasa badala awaambie huyu Mungu ni mzuri amewapea miti yote. Sijui ilikuwa miti ngapi na matunda ngapi. Maybe ilikuwa 1000. Yaani amewapea 999 mkule ni moja. Huyu ah, Mungu si ni mzuri sana. Sasa aliwaonyesha yaani wamewakataza hii. Now what happened is this? Ah uh, ali ali alitaka kuonyesha huyu jamaa si mzuri. It's not straight forward the way you think. Are we together? Mm-hmm. Sema ni juu anajuju. Eva alimwambia unajua tuliambia ukula hii tutafanya nini? Tutakufa. Mm-hmm. Adam akamwambia ah shetani akamwambia hapana. Mungu anajua mkikula hii mtakuwa kaa eh. So huyu jamaa si straight. Mm-hmm. Si unaona sasa? Mm-hmm. This guy is not straight forward. This guy is not honest. This guy is not faithful. Don't trust this guy. So, right away from the beginning, Satan began to tarnish and to discredit God's character and who God is. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, let's read the verse quickly because of time, please. Uh, Psalms chapter 92, please. Chapter 92 verse 13. King James fashion in Asema. Let me read it for you because of time. 92 in Asema 13. 12 in Asema. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall glow, grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Verse 13. Those be planted in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Shall flourish in the courts of our God. Verse 14. They shall bring still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat. Amen. Amen. They shall be fat and flourishing. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord. Say that is me. That is me. If you are planted there, siku ekelo mekelo ni kupandwa. Unajua kuna tofauti ya kupandwa na kuekelo? Hii pila imepandwa lakini ikiti imekelewa. Wale wamepandwa kwa nyumba ya Bwana they shall 
flourish. Sema shall. Sema shall. Shall in law means a must. If you have done law, it's a must. It's a must. And then verse 15, it says, why should they flourish? To show. The word show is to declare. The word show is to announce. To announce that the Lord is straight. To show that the Lord is upright. Now, why should God flourish those who are in his house? Because Mungu ameharibiwa jina sana na shetani. Venye si straight. Venye awezi kukupea husband. Venye awezi kukupea job. Venye umechelewa kuolewa kwa sababu umekua wakwaya. Hmm? Kama ungeku umeokoka, ungeku umeolewa kama shiru mwenye haku wakokaka. Umezekea church kwa sababu ulingia presti. Haufurai kuenda kwa wanumani gitaju we ni wa yesu. Huyu mungu wana kwenyuma kitu. Ungeku umefurai sana kama unge. Iyo ni sauti ya shetani. Kila wakati shetani ya kikuja na kuoneshaga mungu wa mekuibia kitu. Ungeku umeolewa isipukua ni kuwako. Ukitawa kujua sauti ya shetani ni sauti ya kuonesha kuna kitu mungu wa mekuibia. God has robbed you. Na alijaribu kwa yesu. But the Bible says that Jesus did not think it robbed. Ya kwamba meporwa kukua mungu. Are we together? So, why will God flourish his people? To announce that he is not kombo kombo, he is upright. Kwa sababu, ameharibiwa jina sana na shetani, hui mungu hata kupea kazi. Hata hui mungu tunamutoleaga sadaka, na anabaliki musherati, ananiacha. Hizo zote ni sauti za shetani kawa ujui. And Satan will always major. And most of us are offended with God and the things of God. Amen. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Kuna mtu walitokea wakiombewa, akasema mina taa kusamehea mungu. Niombe ni samehea mungu. Yes, people are like that. Sina kazi ju baba yangu walikuwa meokoka. Ama sina kazi kwa sababu mungu wa menitesa. Bona yeso tusaidia? Now, let's, let's read a place here, please. I'm speaking on believing in the love of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Satan has used circumstances and issues that you are going through to tarnish God's name as not a faithful God, as not a straightforward guy. But he says, I will show them that I am straight, I am straightforward. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, let's see his... Satan tried to, to do the same to the first man, to the first Adam, Jesus. Let's read Matthew chapter 3, please. Chapter 3, verses what? Chapter 3, verse 16. Verse 16 to 17. What does it say? Seventeen. And lo, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate our sister. <laughs> Amen. Let's read verse 17 again. It says, And lo, a voice from heaven. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. A voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. That is the statement that God has spoken concerning his child. This is my son, and I love my son. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, let's go next chapter. Chapter 4, verse 1. Let's see it. Chapter 4, verse 1, it says, let's not read verse 1. Let's read verse 2. It says, and when he had fasted for 40 days, let's go verse 3. And when the tempter, who is the tempter? Is that an isn't it? And when the tempter came to him, he said, Now, I want you to follow carefully, carefully, this verse, carefully. If thou be the Son of God, command this to... Now, listen. Satan has come to tempt this, this, this last Adam. He has come to tempt who? Jesus. Now... Satan will always attack the word of God in your life. What do you know? Now, previous verse or chapter, God has already declared, this is my 
this is my son. I'm well pleased. Immediately, Satan came. Now, when the devil came, he edited the statement. Do you know what he's editing? Do you know what he's editing? Alirudia ile maneno maneno tu bingu imetangaza hu ni mwana wangu ni mpenda lakini ali edit statement Yo statement ikiwa angesema if you are the son of god whom he loves lakini aliondoa hiyo kwa sababu once you are conscious and aware of god's love in your life then you overcome in this life and the enemy will do nothing he will not overcome your life so the devil came to discredit the words and the character and the integrity of god god had already said ninakupenda lakini shetani ameondoa hiyo anasema kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu asemi kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu eh unayependwa kwa hiyo shetani anajua sikiza rafiki yangu ukielewa upendo wa mungu juu ya maisha yako ukipata revelation ya kwamba god anakupenda umemshinda umeshinda eh so shetani atajaribu kuzuia that's why hivi ukiendelea pale chini biblia ina, inaonyesha ya kwamba after that tena shetani alikuja kumjaribu ukiendelea up to verse 7 akamwambia kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu fanya aje jitupe hiyo kujitupa that's why jesus said you should not test or tempt god Shetani alikuwa anahubiria Yesu, huyu baba alisema anakupenda. Alienda alikuacha. Alikuacha. Ona venye uko na njaa kwanza alikumwambia, ikiwa ni mwana wa Mungu, ona venye uko na njaa. Aliendaga. Alikuacha. Badilisha mawe. Yesu akasema, "Aah. Hapana. Sitafuata kenye nasikia kwa mwili wangu. Nitafuata neno la Mungu linasema aje. Do you know the Bible says that um, Satan was actually cast Serpent to eat what? To eat dust, isn't it? To feed from the dust. And uh, I used to think dust is that the snake will be eating the dust, but that is not the case. Amen. Serpent is the type of Satan, and actually, your flesh is made out of dust. Yeah. Your flesh is dust, which means. Satan is en- you see you get energy from what you eat. Sindio? Kama hujakula hata ungekuwa hapa kweli. You are energized from the food you eat. So Satan is energized and empowered to work in your life when you are so fleshly and carnal. He eats the flesh. So Jesus decided no. I will not lean on the side of hunger the flesh. I will lean on the side of spirituality. I will lean on the side of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, when Jesus was tempted, jiangushe ilikuwa njia ya kuhubiria Yesu able to test kama bado wako. Alikuacha. Wewe ruka uone kama bado wako. Bwana Yesu atusaidie. Lakini hizi wakasema najua wako si lazima ni mjaribu. Najua alisema ako na mimi, si lazima ni test kama ako na mimi. Hayuko na mimi kwa sababu niko na chakula. Kukuwa na chakula si ndiyo kuna sema ati niko na mungu. Aa. Niko na ye kwa sababu alisema hata ni ya. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, let's read first John chapter 4 verse 16. So, it never worked. Wakati shetani alikuja kuambia Yesu. Na, kumu, ed, na kumuonesha na kujaribu ku, kuondoa hiyo affirmation. Mungu alimuambia ni na kupenda. Eh? Inasema nini first John 4:16 please Believing in the love of God amen friend listen Satan has succeeded to bring us down because we have doubted that God loves our life Praise the name of the Lord amen. yes Satan has succeeded to show us that this God does not love you I'll just show you are, are you there what does it say First John 4:16 King James says, we know, this one says, and rely. King James says, we know and believe. We know and, you, most of us, we know that God loves us. But we have failed to believe. Unajua ta kenye kinafanya ndoa ziharibike. Ni kutuwa mini upendo. Wabwana yako ama mke wako. 
akiingia lazima uangalie simu uangalie and that's why a lot of phones ziko na password za watu wenye wameona lakini ukiona kwa watu wakiwa wameona na kuna password kuna hatari tunaelewana hakuna mm-hmm. hatari tuna kushow sign one of the sign of love and friendship is nakedness sema nakedness nakedness kama kuna mtu anakufijifichia kitu omba Mungu upendo irudi Bwana Yesu atusaidie yeah. Bwana sema Adam na nani walikuwa nini walikuwa naked U, ukitaka kujua kuna urafiki hata Yesu mwenyewe alisema I think it's John 15 or 14 something inasema I'm not calling you slaves I'm calling you friends because all the things that father has told me I've shared with you so what makes me your friend is because I'm not hiding anything from you Praise the Lord that's friendship that's what we call friendship lakini ukikuja simu message kuna password whatsapp kuna password kila kitu kuna password hai bwana Yesu asifiwe sana bwana Yesu endulie amen ukikuta ma password nyingi nyingi that friendship is not complete i tell you friendship ni nakedness you to prove you mtu ananipenda kabisa inasema now i we know and believe do you believe in the love of your wife do you believe it so the bible says it is not enough to know that god loves us we need to take it next level to believe in that love we know and believe what in what we know and believe in the love that god has for us praise the name of the lord Amen. so for god's love to operate in your life you must believe in the love of god whatever god has said you must believe in it praise the name of the lord that's why the bible says for god so loved the world that he did what he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes what it actually means is that whoever believes in god's love because Jesus is the demonstration of God's love for us. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so because Satan's main campaign is to lead humanity not to believe in what God says. That's why a lot of people even today are not born again. It is a sign anyone who is not born again is a sign you don't believe in the love of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I tell you whoever believes for God so loved the world that he did what he gave so the giving of his son is a demonstration of God's love it's, that's how high the love of God is God's love is not about to me a credit it's about giving his or not even his son only you know the difference between sons and only sema only Amen. Sema only. Amen. Ukiwa kwa nyumba na kiberiti yako na ni saa saba ya usiku, saa sita na ulikuwa fasting ya siku tatu na ulikuwa ufungue saa saba ya usiku. Na jiko yako lazima yakishwe na kiberiti. Na ni moja. What do you want to, how will you treat that 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 match stick? Si hata baada ya kisha ukume jifunika na brangeti. Lakini zikiwa nyingi unapiga tu hivi. Now this is the only son only i tell you i did some an exam, any demonstration kwa kanisa na kauliza uko na watoto wangapi watatu wawili uko na wawili kwa sababu unisaidie tuna mmoja sio wewe pastor <coughs> ukitaka katambe katatambe kamuliza si uko na wawili si unipe mmoja ubaki na mmo sababu mimi nataka wote nikaangalia mwingine ako na watoto tano sio unisaidie tuna mmoja ubaki na waine nani hapa ana akona anaweza patiana abaki na waine sababu nataka wote watano nataka oh, wote watano lakini Mungu alikuwa na mmoja just one and he gave out and he gave out to bad people eh, not people who loved him very bad people praise the name of the lord Amen. that's why you see, listen before 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 Christ came God used to win the world through power some power. power he used to win people through might That's why when he came in Egypt Bible says I deliver them through my strong hand through my strong hand 
And then God realized, even if people seize his power, they, don't, they are not believing in him. Amen. They saw Red Sea. Unafikiri kuona Red Sea. Mmeshaenda kwa Ocean iko na vanyingi. Maji na simama inafanya ukuta ingine ukuta wanapita katikati. That's a very big miracle. That's a big power. Is it not a big power? Si hata kukiwa na flood utokaje nje? This is a sea ingieni piteni. That's a big power. Mungu anasema chura zina a lot of miracles hakuna maji. Gonga mawe. Si hata fadhali angesema gonga matope. Mawe ngumu inatoka maji. Hakuna chakula brr kuna nyesha chakula. They were miracles of, and they, they didn't believe in God. That's why the Bible says it's not by power. It is not by might. It is by what? So you may show people power. I say ma hiyo ni masone kio. Hiyo ni masone kama hiyo ni Illuminati. Because that's why God decided, listen friend. I will win people not using my mighty ha- hand. I win when I will win them th- using my mighty heart. You see there's different. Mighty hand and mighty heart. That's why he gave all. He gave his son. That's a very big heart. And still people are not believing in that. May the Lord help us. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, maybe because of time. Ah. Uh, what does Satan use to discredit God's love in our lives? Maybe one point is the circumstances and the issues of life. That one you can read in Romans chapter 8 verse 35. It says, "Who who shall separate us from the love of Christ, God that is in Christ? Is it tribulation? If you can get it, it's still okay. Is it distress? Is it hunger? Is it nakedness? Now listen, Bible says, who shall everybody say who? Say who? who? What does that stand for? What's the difference between who and what? Those of us who know English. Who is a personality, isn't it? And what? It's things, isn't it? So what does that verse say? Say who? Are you, have you seen KJV? It says, Who shall separate us from the love of the Christ, isn't it? So I was expecting the verse now to say, Is it a robber? It says, Who? And then it quotes, it says, Number one, tribulation. Can tribulation be called who? Can distress be called who? Now it means. There is a personality behind the issues you are going through. Wow. Let's appreciate the Lord for that. There is a personality. So when distress is coming, it's not a what, it's a who. There is a power behind distress to discredit God, to separate you from the love of God. If maybe you went through a a breakup, an issue in your life, Joblessness, there is, there is a personality behind it to preach to you and tell you, this God does not love you. There is a voice, there is a voice talking to you through the issues you are going, the voice of the devil, I tell you, is the de- voice of the devil preaching to you. The voice of the devil behind what? Tribulation? Behind what else? Distress. Distress and distress. Stress. Kuna mtu asiye onekana anaitwa shetani ako behind stress ili ya separate na love of god so shetani who attack love of god na kufanya usi believe in love of god kupitia zile situation unapitia unaona sasa huyu jamaa aliniacha na watoto hawa wawili sasa hata Mungu alikuwa wapi sikia si Mungu analeta mambo mabaya ni shetani analeta mambo mabaya sasa hivi ndivyo shetani amefanikiwa kuambia kwa kuonesha watu kuharibu jina ya Mungu. That's why mtu akipitia kitu mbaya kabla a blame shetani ana blaming Mungu. Mungu alikuwa wapi? Sasa nikuuliza ni Mungu ameua mtu kweli? Ni Mungu ameleta accident? Mungu Mungu aletagi accident. Mungu hauagi mtu. Najua kuna watu wameshtuka. Bwana Yesu atusaidie. Mungu huagimu? 
lakini dunia kuna sheria ya dhambi na tembea inafanya kazi. Haleluya. Mungu hahitaji kuwa mtu ndiye ampeleke mbinguni. Hapana. <coughs> Hata actually wale watu wameenda mbinguni wajaenda wengi wajaenda kupitia kifo. Wenye Mungu amechukua kama Yesu. Yesu si alikufa. Alienda akiwa mzima mzima. Kwanza alifufuka akaenda akiwa life life. Is it true? Alienda life life. Nani mwingine Mungu amechukua? Hmm? Elijah. Elijah alikufa. Unajua tunasema hii ndio njia nini ni sawa lakini basically Elijah kwanza alienda na akaona wewe na, na Mungu ni mpawafu Elijah Acho sasa Elijah alienda akiwa mbebo na chariots of fire. Hiyo inaweza tisha tisha. Yesu alienda life life. Bila sema alienda wakiwa wanamuona. I was reading the book of Acts sema. Sasa unaona kama venye na waongeleshi sasa hiyo. Sasa muone miguu yangu iko hapo. Na Yesu ni mpawafu. I tell you Biblia sema alienda wakimuona hivi. Wakaona eh hey, God is love miguu sasa imeguza pale. Nandi huyu, nandi wao. Akaingia mbinguni. That's how powerful Jesus is. A lot of people who have gone to heaven they never died, most of them. When the Bible says Elijah didn't die, Enoch. Do you have someone like Enoch? Yes. Mungu alimwambia, "Eh, twende." So God is not a man that God will kill somebody to take him. Amen. So devil has succeeded I tell you to show us this god you know devil capitalizes on the issues and the problems you go through in life me have gone through some issues I've lost not even one kid two kids amen and I was young me I don't know mambo za ije sijui disco sijui cigars sijui pom na zilikuaga sija yonja ata pom hata ku dance sijui mimi nitaanza dukuru karuka mkutambia tu dance they nageraga yani sijui is a squeeze <laughs> amen but you see devil could have spoken to me but me i knew god praise the name of the lord i know somebody else who lost his child and left god and left church sema mungu anachukua mtoto wangu kwa nini hiyo kanisa zitaenda sema that's the voice of the devil god will always do good praise the name of the lord so friend when you are going through some issues Don't allow the voice of the devil to speak to you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Yes, don't allow. God is with you and he loves you. Bwana Yesu atusaidie sana. Now, two signs namalizia. So nimesema kitu ya kwanza, Satan will capitalize on the issues you are going through. Sometimes hata ukiacha na mtu ni baraka kubwa sana. Kama ni msichana uacha na mtu. Sasa zingine hata usilie. Kama unapenda Mungu usilie. Sasa zingine ni, ni Mungu amekuletea wokovu amekuja kukuokoa kwa mtu anakuambia aje anakuambia wewe ndiye nyota yangu na wewe ndiye mosquito ya ah si mosquito <laughs> when do tio mosquito tu umekubaliwa kuniuma kwa neti ya si kuna kuwa na neti na mosquito si neti ni ya kuzuia mosquito wa wasingie sasa wewe tu ndiye ile mosquito umekubaliwa ingie kwa hii neti sasa kenye ujui ni akona neti zingine mahali pe. Anasema anaongea tu kuhusu hiyo neti hiyo moja. Kuna neti zingine nyingine iko chavakali, nyingine iko dandora na kibera na kuna mosquito zingine zinamumiaga huko ni venye uju. <laughs> so listen friend, sometimes if you know God and you love God, sometimes things works for your good. Praise the name of the Lord. And even if something bad happens to you, there is enough power of God to convert it to work for your good. Amen. Amen. Two signs that you believe in the love of God. What shows that you believe in the love of God? Maybe I give you two. Quickly, moja ni is having faith in God. Amen. Uko hapa watu wanalia bere hakuna kazi. Hey president wetu alisema ni wahasura. Anasema tunatafuta ajira. We Ajana mtu. Amini mu? Tunapanga hii ajira. Sameni ajira. Ajira. Hii ajira ya mama mboga na ya budabu. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> One of the sign that you believe in the love of God is your faith in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Not even faith in your certificates which is okay. Because there are people with degrees na 
kazi yao ni kazi yao ni kuchinja wanachinja wa. they are slaughter house wako slaughter house lakini angalia huyo mtu maybe ni savea amesomea mama makubwa lakini yeye anachinja kondoo <laughs> amen <laughs> so listen believe jesus said have faith in god have faith in god. now let me show you that verse galatians chapter 5 verse 6 please galatians 5 6 nikumaliza na maliza ni sawa Hale, lakini si tumebarikiwa na mahubiri kutoka ya um, director ya kujijua si ndio that's also isikijai sikia hata hiyo information you are formed by what you take in that's a very big blessing now if you read kjv says but faith that worketh through love listen why is faith active it's because of love yes Faith is made active because of love of Christ. If you you are talking about Christ. For example, because I have because I love my wife. I have faith in her. Leo asubuhi amenipea chai na sikuita daktari apime hiyo chai. Leo asubuhi amenipea cha chai. Na sikutafuta ile kitu ya kupima kama na inaweza kuona kitu hiki kitu. Are we together? Are you understanding the word of God? Yes. Yeah. Like there is a, a man alikuwa anazoea alikuwa anazoea kukuja usiku kwake. Unajua kuna wanaume wanakuja usiku wanaitwa nocturnals. Semeni nocturno. Watoto waliulizwa shule name to nocturno animals. Nocturno. Nocturno ni wanyama wakuja usiku. <laughs> Waka wakaeka wakaepo vitu hapo nini mende nini kuna mende mende sio usiku father bla bla 90% ya watoto waliandika father this is a nocturnal animal baba anakuja usiku usiku ana anocturnal anocturnal father amen now what are we saying kuna huyu mzee alizoea kuja usiku so usiku moja akikuja usiku akipewa chakula akikingia kwa nyumba lazima mtoto wake aamke. Ndio kuna watoto wanapenda mababa zao sana. Akisikia baba ameingia lazima aamke atoke bedroom akuje. Hmm? So alipoamka akakuja ninamalizia. Alipo uh, alipokuja na lazima sasa baba akaekewa chaku. Kijana yake ndio anampenda akaenda kuuma chakula. Kwenda kuuma chakula. Mama yake kamgonga mkono mpaka kijiko ikagonga siri. Kijiko ikachomoka ikaonga si kumbe mama alikuwa amejua nini ameweka chakula na inaweza kuwa huyu mzee alikuwa anajua na that's why alikuwa huyo mtoto alikuwa kute <laughs> ni alikuwa anatesti kama vile ni mtu so what i'm saying is this because we are in love with my wife akinipea chakula hata jana alipea chakula ugali tulitoka tulitoka maombi usiku sana aliponipea sikusema hey aboro umewekwa sasa uma kwa My faith is working because of love. Are you listening? Your faith in God works because you understand God loves you. He will not allow you to die jobless because of his life, love for your life. He knows you need to eat. He knows you need to pay your house. He knows you need a husband. That's why he created you a woman with all the things of a woman because He knew you need a husband. So if you have you believe in God's love, then you have faith. Amen. Amen. Faith is a sign that you believe in the love of God. The last sign is that where the absence of fear. The absence of fear. Praise the name of the Lord. Tunamalizia ndio absence of fear. one of the sign listen carefully How I know that I've started to be far from the presence of God is when I sense I have started to fear things in my life. For example maybe nahitajika nilipe nyumba kesho. Nianze kushtuka kai. Nimepitisha. Ni yeye ameongea hapo nje ama nani unafunga ma. Now it is an indication that you have started to be far from the presence of God. Why? because hiyo uoga inakuambia 
ni wewe unashughulikia kulipa na hauna so unaogo are we together so god hayuko pale ni wewe karibu na hii something utaona ikiwa kubwa sana si ni kweli lakini ukiwa mbali na si kitu inaonekana ikiwa kidogo ukiwa mbali sasa ukiwa karibu na mashida zako sana mashida zinakuwa kubwa sana na Mungu anakuwa mdogo juu uko mbali na Mungu tunaelewana Mungu anakuwa mdogo juu uko mbali na yeye lakini ukikaribia Mungu Mungu anakuwa mkubwa ah unaona Mungu juu uko karibu na yeye na sasa juu umekaribia Mungu shida nao iko mba nao shida inakuwa kidogo tusome verse tumalize verse ya mwisho please first john chapter 4 verse 18 the absence of fear is a sign that you believe in the love of god praise the name of the lord amen sitafungiwa nyumba kwa sababu ya upendo wa mungu sitakosa kazi juu mungu ananipe lakini ukianza kuogopa guy kazi zitapatikana siku hizi unajua statistics ndasema wewe wachana statistics statistics waachana na hata kwa bible unaweza nyoka ikaongeaje oni nyoka ati nyoka ikaongea <laughs> ati samaki kama jona kwani hiyo samaki ilikuwa hall akukua na interest sai ndani you see when you be, <laughs> you, you need become more analytical and more that's why i love i like this fellowship is psycho spiritual psycho What does the verse say? Please. Perfect love. Perfect. If you are perfected in love. Perfect love casts away fear. Yeah. Because you know you are in love. For example in street children, you know mtoto ukichapa mtoto wako analiaga na anashindu mama na kaji. Because mtoto anatarajia love kutoka kwa mzazi. Tunaelewana? So anashindu what's happening? I'm expecting love. So listen, perfect love. What shows you are perfected and you believe in the love of God is you are fearless. Watu wanakopa hakuna kazi, mimi naamini Mungu si wakopi. Naamini upendo wa Mungu it shows that you believe in the love of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Nobody in this world that can love you as God. Amen. One of the things of God's love is that the love of God passes understanding. That's what Bible says, passes knowledge. Kuna verse in Isaiah 53 inasema, it pleased God to crush his son. To crush, do you know what is to crush? Kusiaga. Ilimpendeza Mungu asiage mtoto, a crush mtoto wake. Hebu imagine ukikuta baba baba mtoto your husband aki crush anaweka mtoto wako and a crush kitwa God was happy that his child is being crushed for you don't allow satan's deception to show you that god does not love you today believe in the love of god god whom you have not even ever done any good thing to him he gave his only child for you his son praise the name of the lord Amen. jesus loves you whoever believes in him shall not perish not whoever have money and not whoever has a big name god has reduced thing in things into believing whoever believes not even a muzungu no whoever believes whoever believes shall not perish friend believe in the love of god praise the name of the lord